Hello, I'm Dr. Arpita Kumanapale and I'm glad you're watching this video. In this video, I would like to talk about mucormycosis, commonly called as black fungus. Mucormycosis is an infection that starts in the nasal area, throat, and then tends to quickly spread to eyes, brain, and even the entire body. Once it begins infecting the brain, it can become life-threatening. It also damages immunity, aggravates other diseases, and makes the person infection-prone. Mucormycosis is a disease caused by many fungi that belong to the fungal family mucorates. So mucor species are fast-growing fungi which have a highly developed mycelium and branched hyphae. Now let's understand the structure of this fungi. Mycelium. The mycelium of the mucor is highly branched and it forms a fine network of hyphae. So mycelium is nothing but a cluster of hyphae. Hyphae. These are thread-like and very thin structures that form the mycelial network. Hyphae of the mucor, they are filamentous and aseptoid. That means there are no sections. In mucor, there are three types of hyphae. If you can look at the diagram, subterranean hyphae, these are highly branched, they are more penetrating, but they are horizontal to the surface. Prostrate hyphae, these are also present horizontally, or, but they are between or under the surface. These two hyphae, subterranean and prostate, they help in absorption of water and nutrition. Now, aerial hyphae are the third type, which originates vertically from the prostate hyphae. And at the top of this hyphae, you can see sporangiophore. This is an elongated, slightly narrow in shape. Another structure called columella. The sporangiophore swells up to form a dome-like structure called columella. This can vary in both shape and size. Now, sporangium. This is the round and thick outer covering which carries numerous spores inside it. Spores. These are very important because these are the reproductive structure. They form within the sporangium. They are simple and uh, they are flattened and they are different shapes and sizes. And also these fungi have a nucleus. When they are growing this fungi in the lab, they grow rapidly and they have black and brown fuzzy appearance and hence the name black fungus. So fungi, these fungi are found in the environment around us like soil and also in uh, decaying uh, material like fruits and vegetables. This fungi, they can cause human disease, uh, grow well at a body temperature and also in acidic environment. This acidic environment is present in a human body when there is uncontrolled diabetes or when there is a damaging tissue. We also call this fungi opportunistic fungi because they infect people when their immune system is low. So they take opportunity of this low immunity in people. We see this when the people are using drugs like steroids. Steroids actually impair the immune function. And also when there is immunocompromising condition in the body like cancer or transplantation. Damaged tissues which occur after trauma and surgery. All these can cause low immunity in a person. There are three ways humans can contract their fungi. That is by inhaling the spores or by swallowing the spores in food or medicine or when the spores contaminate wounds. Inhalation is the most common method. So we actually breathe in the spores of fungi every day. But our immune system and healthy lungs usually prevent them from causing an infection. So when the lungs are damaged and the immune system is low, that is the time we see this fungi growing inside the body, which is naturally seen in the COVID patients. Because, um, in, and also we can see this in diabetes and obesity, uh, because these people tend to end up in more severe infection. So when there is more severe infection, we use steroids. And uh, steroids along with the diabetes, they increase the risk of black fungi in these patients and also we need to understand COVID itself can damage air tissues and blood vessels which can also increase the susceptibility to the fungal infection so damaged tissue uh, blood vessels from the COVID infection treatment with steroids and also history of high diabetes in the population are the uh, most severely affected by COVID and more importantly this is the reason for widespread exposure to fungus in the environment are all playing a part in uh, mucormycosis in India right now. After infection, what is it happening inside a human body? When the spore enters, 
the phagocytes they go to this site immediately and internalize and form tight clusters around the spores and they protect uh, the immune system cells protect the spores and make sure they don't germinate or give birth to new fungus so insusceptible individuals like who lost uh, this control will lead to filamentous fungal growth so a lack or delay of this response by our immunity which is usually seen in diabetic patients will cause the disease to spread and also environment factors like initiating the spore germination or ph as i said acidic environment and also nutrition availability in that place all this will help the spore to germinate so mucormycosis can manifest in the lungs but nose and sinuses are the most common sites of infection from there it can spread to the eyes and it can cause blindness and it can spread to brain and cause headache or seizures it can also affect skin so some of the symptoms or the signs of uh, mucormycosis are unilateral headache that is behind the eye facial pain eye swelling visual disturbance necrotic lesions on the nasal mucosa nasal congestion black discharge epistaxis and fever and also we see uh, some other symptoms in severe cases like obstruction in the nose pus coming out from the tree teeth mobile teeth visibility of jaw bones swollen eyes limited eye movement choked throat and even black spots on the swollen area uh, mucormycosis can be easily diagnosed on a ct and mri diagnosis and in, uh, intervention as early as possible is very important avoid areas with lot of dust for patients because fungus spores exist in dust and old construction material wearing shoes and gloves while gardening is very important as the fungus exist in rotten fruits and vegetables take extreme contact and droplet precautions and maintain strict hand hygiene spores spread through droplets from cough and can infect anybody with low immunity and make sure that there is a strict control of blood sugar in diabetes covid-19 and steroid used treatment push up the sugar level in the body this elevated sugar is the food for the fungus to grow so don't use steroids for home isolation patient especially when you cannot monitor blood sugar levels maintain nasal hygiene for patients with saline washes daily this clears out dust particles and any fungus spores maintain hygiene constantly for the equipment used for oxygenation in the hospitals like nasal prongs nasal cannula and mask for ventilation equipment not used for long will have dust particles along with fungal spores and also linen okay they can carry fungus spores too therefore the cleaning should be done thoroughly every day hope this information was helpful here is a scripture to meditate on i will fear no evil for you are with me psalm 23:4 Thank you so much for watching this video. If this video was helpful, please share it with your family and friends. I will see you again in my next video.